To spread happiness, security, after so much suffering and wandering, that's what we have to build up. Let us go forward, tell one another and approach people to open their hearts for this work of love, in thanking you all for your work with me and the faithful fellowship with our mutual help. On the occasion of his second anniversary, many happy returns of the day. Mutual Help was a Jewish entity started by Margaret Anhold, and it was the entity that actually led to Emmy Monash Homes eventually. This group would meet once a month and talk about who needed help, and they would just do this wonderful work. They were very kind, inspirational women who'd only just arrived in Australia and Emmy Monash was one of the women that actually was in the first seven ladies that joined Margaret on hold in mutual help. I think she had to be busy and help people that didn't have, have anything. People worse off than what we are and she wanted to help them. Emmy Monash is a community organisation, a Jewish community organisation, dedicated to the care of the elderly within our community. It allows elderly people to continue their Jewish lives, even at a time when they're not independent anymore. I think Emmy today is a wonderful organisation. The care they give, the nursing home, just everything about it. Um, the way it's changed over the, the years, it's still got the caring, inspirational people. You know, I have my parents overseas and just doing this, I feel like I'm caring for my own parents. We know from experience that uh, the standards that we deliver are amongst the very best. I could think of no better place if I was not well to go there because of the care, because of the love, dedication, straight from the top. The conversion rate of people to full-time residents from respite is, is quite substantial. When I walk in the building every time and you go to reception, you feel the soul, you feel the warmth. You walk around and you speak to staff and residents and there's a Hamish of feel. Emmy means a lot to many people. And I think that's important that the community as a whole feels that their people, their relatives, are protected, sheltered, cared for, and loved the same as they would be in their home environment. My personal story is that my late grandmother was a resident of Emmy Monash for a couple of years. The care that she received from Emmy staff was exceptional. I couldn't have imagined her to be in a, in a better, more warm and caring place and a safe place than where she was. So I am indebted to Emmy forever. Um, I am in awe of the staff and the way she cared. They cared about uh, my grandmother. Over the years, the sort of care that Emmy Monash has provided has changed from hostel care right through to apartment living, independent care, then on to low care and high care, nursing home type care. We consulted with the community, said we're, we believe we need to, ex to change, expand. What is it that you'd be looking for? and the feedback that we got from the community has been built into this organisation since then and continues to be. It's not just meeting, you know, the, the standards. It's actually going, you know, above and beyond. But it's also sort of here just to see how we can do it, how we can deliver the services in a better way, how we can ensure that the people who choose to come to us, they actually have a great experience. When we think about innovation, it allows us to provide continuous improvement for the organisation. It's something that we're always looking at, is how, how can we deliver better clinical care for our residents? I find that the staff from the CEO down are compassionate with everyone. They're selfless and totally dedicated to what they do. The staff, the team is absolutely outstanding. And there are very, very few organisations that have the strength of the team that they have there the support we get from the community by way of volunteers and people and the schools and other organisations that work in collaboration with us to provide that environment that we're looking for, it, it's unbelievable. 
Emmy has always relied on community support and that still is the case today. I'm most excited, you know, about the, the future and I think the opportunities that the future can bring. I think if you look at the, um, the future of Emmy Monash, we're, we're in a very sound place. We're very excited about the opportunities to partner with the community. We're excited about new residents coming in, new families joining the community. So there's a lot to look forward to right across Emmy. We have fulfilled, now fulfilling, the vision that the founding mothers had of Emmy Monash. I think we can say we're very proud of that we haven't changed our focus. In 80 years, we stayed very much focused on what we wanted to do, and it's to deliver the best quality care to our senior members of the Jewish communities. And when we sit down to strategically plan for the future, it won't change, it'll still be the same. Basically, how do we do it and do it better? Shalom to Emmy Monash, and my very best wishes Rabbi John Levi of Temple Beth Israel. Happy 80th anniversary, Emmy. Thank you for providing the residents with not only a home, but a loving community. To the volunteers, to the staff, to all who make Emmy do such a fantastic job. Kola kavod, Hatzlacha for the future. Congratulations, Emmy Monash, on 80 wonderful years. A big mazel tov on your 80th year. May you go, mechayel el chayel, from strength to strength, in good health and happiness.